So before I started the painting process, I mounted the fish rod and uh, in between each one of the rods is a mounting spot. So we had to drill holes and <clears throat> to uh, make the pre-mount. Showing the side view of it. All the uh, fasteners, the uh, supports are pre-drilled. We removed this and uh, then prepped it all for painting. Uh, this will go back up pretty quick and simple when we're ready for it. Just a side view showing how we clamped it. Uh, it's going to be pretty nifty up there. Hold, uh, I think it holds 14 rods. Uh, just, just above my head height, which is nice. I won't be whacking, taking the skin off my noggin. So all the welding on the aft uh, wall is all done, all the uh, vent covers, uh, the blower, the top one, there's a three inch blower for the bilge blow. And then you can see that the, uh, the large uh, cleats that I formed are welded in place. This is so that we can uh, tow, tie up anything we need to do. Lots of room to put line through, uh, finger savers, right? Once again, shot of all the uh, bin covers. The large ones in the bottom, the two large ones, they're for the uh, deck structural drain. So when you're washing down the deck, it's a three by three uh, rectangular aluminum that I incorporated that drains right out to the aft end area. A good shot of the port side cleat. Uh, should be quite substantial if I have to tow on something or Easy to get on and off the dock, just a ha another handhold, uh, side tie at the dock, uh, you know, whatnot. Here's a good uh, close up view of my hand on it so you can see the size. It's, uh, I think, 14 or 15 inches total length on this one, and it's it was uh, built out of uh, one inch uh, flat bar. <clears throat> lots of Lots of good torque here. Okay, so we got the gray, the dark gray on the brow. It's painted, sprayed on. Now it's tacking off. Got the radar arch sprayed to match the brow. We got all the holes drilled for the uh, rod rack. We acid etched all the aluminum that just got sprayed. <clears throat> pretty well fared out. It's pretty hard to hide at all. And I got the bed liner. in between the cross members. So the side of the boat, it's gonna be an off-white on the cabin outer walls. And then down here in between the rub rails will be a lighter gray quite a bit lighter to give it a two-tone. And that light gray will carry all the way down to the black.